This is 2024 Mercedes E-Class Battles with BMW 5 Series The Mercedes E-Class and BMW 5 Series have been at each other's throats for decades and the rivalry between the two German luxury sedans is still as strong as ever. The three-pointed star is beating its nemesis to the punch by introducing the W214 just weeks before the wraps are programmed to come off the G60. Entering its sixth generation, the E is brimming with technology and doesn't take any design risks. Mercedes-Benz and BMW are both replacing their hugely important midsize sedans this year, and it's Benz that has blinked first. Here is the 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, unveiled in European specification months before we'll get the chance to see its opposite number from Munich, the BMW 5 Series. There are many examples from the motoring world, too, but in the luxury saloon car class none stick out like the decades-old rivalry between the BMW 5 Series and the Mercedes E-Class. Both have enjoyed many generations of evolutionary achievement, each one vying and nudging and overtaking the other for class honors along the way. However, if we had to say which of the two carmakers took a bolder approach here, it was definitely Mercedes. They changed not only the front fascia on the W213 E-Class, but also the rear, visibly, which now features completely new taillights, in line with the brand's sensual purity design philosophy. BMW on the other hand changed the front, sure, but the overall shape of the taillights is the same. The only changes made to the rear are with regards to the light graphics, tailpipes and the bumper, diffuser setup. Overall though, we could argue that BMW made a stronger effort at modernizing the visuals of the 5 Series, whereas the E just looks different and not necessarily newer. If you think that's a fair assessment, let us know in the comments. Neither company messed with the interior of these models. BMW gave the facelifted 5 or 12.3 inch infotainment and gauge displays, which means they measure exactly the same as the Mercs. Coincidence? Definitely not. The latter was also fitted with a brand new generation steering wheel, unlike the 5 Series, whose dashboard continues to be more angular and busier than that of the E-Class. Here's a totally random, though perhaps relevant, observation for you. The BMW 5 Series is the only car among its German peers, E-Class, A6, that continues to have a traditional-looking stereo system setup in the middle of the dash, with buttons numbered 1 through 7. Meanwhile, the E-Class left only its climate control and a few infotainment shortcut buttons there, while the A6 is of course riddled with displays in that area. Last but not least we have powertrains. No major changes here, apart from both carmakers implementing mild hybrid 48-volt starter generator technology in order to enhance efficiency and performance on 4- and 6-cylinder gasoline-powered units. For a long-distance grand touring car, efficiency is an important factor. While both the 2023 BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class use 2.0-liter turbocharged engines in their base form, the BMW is the more efficient choice. With 25 MPG City and 33 MPG Highway according to Car & Driver, it does markedly better than its German rival. For comparison, the E-Class earns just 22 MPG City and 31 MPG Highway fuel economy. On the spec sheet, the latest Mercedes-Benz E-Class has the BMW 5 Series outclassed once again. The standard 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo in the E-Class pumps out 255 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. That said, the added performance doesn't necessarily translate to the real-world experience. Going from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 5.9 seconds in the BMW 5 Series. Comparatively, the E-Class does the same sprint in nearly the exact amount of time. The BMW 5 Series delivers more car for the money while the E-Class does deliver more interior space and more performance on the spec sheet, the differences are scant in the real world. In truth, 
The BMW 5 Series nearly matches the E-Class on both leg and headroom, with less than an inch of difference separating the two. And while the E-Class has the performance edge on paper, when it comes to getting that power to the ground, the two are nearly identical. Meanwhile, the 5 Series uses a similar 2.0-liter turbo setup that offers just 248 horsepower and 257 pound-feet of torque. They're also near equal on price, standard comfort and tech features, and driver's assistance. With that in mind, it may be that the BMW 5 Series